Ladies and gents, and welcome to Cold Waters with Mags, and welcome to the Spratly Islands. Right here, we're right on top of them. So, a few updates from the last mission. Now, I'll just quickly ID Sierra 1 while we're here. Actually, what is that all? What have we got? Thermal layer at 115. Oh, sorry, 215, rather. Alright, let's see whether or not this is our submarine. So, a couple of updates. In the last mission, we took a torpedo and we received some pretty serious damage from that torpedo. Um, I think that's going to be a surface ship. Yeah, that's a small cargo ship, so that's Con nothing sonar, to concern ourselves Sierra with. One is classified as All right, so I'm going to do a quick turn here. Um... Let's go north. Come right to zero. And set zero, our depth one, to one hundred and fifty. I want to check above the above the thermal layer, and then I'll go to three hundred and fifty to check below it. So, anyways, as I was saying, the last mission we received a torpedo, and we took some critical damage in the process. Um, the torpedo did critical damage to the engine room. Now, critical damage is damage that cannot be repaired at sea, so we had to return to Okinawa to get repaired. If I've done the editing on this right, you would have already seen the result of that in the intro. 61 hours to bolt this submarine back together in dry dock. That's to get the engine running again, to patch up the hole in the side of it, the second hole she's uh, received in the course of this campaign, and to resupply the ship. Not ideal. Thankfully, we have managed to get back to the Spratly Islands before the mission has ended, so we haven't failed, but the target submarine, which I'm pretty sure this is, was directly on top of the Spratly Islands, so we have only just managed to make it in via the skin of our teeth. Hopefully, well I think it's because the submarine had to sail from all the way in the most northern port on the East China Sea to get down to the Spratly Islands. That was the I only thing that saved us. 61 hours was nearly a killer here. We also received a news report that China is looking for peace. Now, that is, if you read through the pause and read through the details on that one, that is the news article that generally pops up when you officially enter the endgame. One uh, of the upcoming hell, missions is course. going to be going after the Chinese ballistic missile submarine, which is the final objective of Cold Waters. It's the final boss you've got to take out. But first, we have to deal with this one. So we've got a small cargo ship here, and we know there is another submarine in the area, and we have no idea what the hell it is. It's most likely a diesel electric. They generally use diesel electrics for invading ports. Diesel electrics are very quiet. They're very hard to detect, especially if they're trying to not be noticed. So all I can really do is spend some time lurking around, jumping above and below the thermal layer and the duct just to see exactly what we can find, see whether or not we can pick up something, it's it's not likely, but we can see. I don't want to go straight to banging away on the active sonar. Uh, I've played the, uh, the loot pinata for the Chinese for a little bit too long, that's the second time I've taken a torpedo, I'm not really interested in taking a third, so I'd like to get the jump on these guys. Now, when we started this mission, we did get a bearing at 38 over here, which is why I'm heading straight north. I want to close distance on this particular angle. There might be something there. Sometimes there's not. But it's the only clue that you get at the start of a mission. And we do have some interest. If we were to run south, if this was to draw out, there is actually some really interesting things we could do here. Because there are depressions through the islands that we can hide the submarine in and um, like valleys in between the, the shallower parts of the, the islands are based that we can run through and use to duck and dodge and dive around torpedoes. This would be a really interesting area for a fight, uh, but I, I think it's going to come down to first detect, first shoot. Anyways, what we can do is wait and see. Alright, so we've been running a pattern here for about uh, 10 minutes or so, 
pulsing uh, time acceleration on and off. Just running an angle, just to see exactly what we can pick up. We're down at 350 feet now, below the thermal layer, having a look around. And we're not getting a damn thing at this point. So, I'm going to go for a single ping. Hopefully we're looking for a return. We do have places to run, if we need to. So, we have options. Con sonar, switching to active search. Alright, come on. Give us a return. Nothing. Con Whoa, sonar, that's completely the wrong search. direction. Alright, so... The clue we got at the start of the mission was up around about here. This is why I generally don't mention them. They're often not accurate. Yeah, completely the other way. Um, and it's going to be actively pinging. So I'm going to do... Shoot two, one. Top one Five, out. Alright, so let's go hunting with our fishy. Hit us straight south. We're still at 350 feet. Now I want to get right on the thermal layer, so I'm going to go for 200. Make depth two zero zero feet. Die by. No heading change. No course change. This shouldn't cause us to get a wire break. I just want to get the torpedo a little bit wide, and then I'm going to make it go active and start actively hunting through the area. Alright, so we've just got 10 minutes left on the torpedo, it's far enough south, so I'm going to turn it in at 90. I'm going to activate it short, and I'm going to go for active, uh, uh, active homing. I basically want to rattle the water around here and try and get this submarine to do a counter launch on us or to drop a countermeasure or to do something that indicates its location so I can home in on it even if it's not this torpedo that does it all right active launch that's here all right so what distance are we talking about here? It's 20 kiloyards from that transient. It's a long way out. That is a long, long way out. Con, torpedo room, tube three ready. What are you on about? Now, there could be multiple submarines here as well, we don't know. I suspect there is only going to be one being a commando landing, but it is possible. Alright, so we're still getting active down this line. Should give everybody an idea of where the range is, just wait for the next ping. If it's going to ping again. Con, torpedo room, tube three ready. Yeah, right there on that line. Alright, so. Let's see how well this works. Shoot tube three. Aye, sir. We haven't successfully used one of these yet, so let's see how it goes. We should be far enough out that this thing cannot hear this coming. But this should trigger all sorts of panic. And as far as we know, there's nothing on the surface. 
that seems to be indicating that we've got uh, anything we need to worry about. Alright, so this will be most of its way to target. Still no further activity on the map. So we've got a bit of rain coming in. I mainly want to catch the animation here. So what will happen is, basically this is a mini torpedo. This is the similar to the Call torpedoes that the anti-submarine warfare aircraft, the helicopters drop. It's short-lived, it's got no guidance outside of its own active guidance, and it's a mini torp. This is a rocket system to launch it. And this will drop off in a second. The torpedo should parachute out and land at the exact location we designated. So it flies its way through. There it goes. Torpedo in the water. And should instantly go active. And if all goes well and we're on target, this should cause at least some kind of reaction. Well, apparently not. Nothing. Well, that's kind of disappointing. I was hoping to see countermeasures and all sorts of crap popping up over here, but nothing. Alright, so we've just had a new contact pop up, so it's possible they're trying to book it out of here. What have we got here? Sierra 2? Could be a song. The thousand line isn't lining up though. It's a Ming. Con sonar, Sierra there it is. Two it is, is a Ming. As submerged submarine. All right, so torpedo one has three minutes remaining on it. All right, the Ming is currently doing. It's currently at 17.5 kilo yards estimated. I haven't got 100% of solution yet. It's only at 34%. No estimation on speed. What's its depth? It's above. It's in the. Uh, it's in the duct. Well, there's still technically enough time for this to actually hit. Two minutes and 30 seconds for this torpedo to make it home. It could still land. Depends on how hard the Ming removes, but God, it's gonna be it's gonna be tight on time. Two minutes twelve seconds. And we're not getting much in the increase in solution either. So this thing this shows you how much of a pain in the ass these things are to find. 40% solution. further out con sonar lost contact Sierra one last bearing three, that's right we lost three, a small cargo one, ship that's not an issue all right so we are going to do a depth change I'm bringing the torpedo up above the layer All right, so it should be close to the same depth as our target submarine. One minute 13, still no... Where are you? 
Con sonar, noisemaker, there. bearing, two, five, one. All right. I don't know if this is going to make it. Alright, so it's out of position. It's actually further out than we originally thought. Alright, so get the next one. And I'm going to reload. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Oh, we only got the two on board. Damn it. Alright, so weapon acquired. Con, torpedo room, two, two, ready. Torpedo one. We only have 21 seconds remaining. There it is, there's the Ming. Turning north. Shoot two, three. Aye, sir. Alright, another rocket propelled torp going in. And there we go, it's out. And there we go, contact. we've lost the Ming. Sierra, two, last bearing, two, five, three, contact faded. So, Come changing right direction two, to intercept, two, five, and we just gotta eight, hope this eight, torpedo nine. actually finds something. I'm not sure if this will be enough to sink the Ming. It is only a, it is a smaller torp, it does have a smaller warhead. It should be enough, but it's a matter of it finding the target. Come on, I don't want to get the Ming too far away. Con, torpedo room, tube three ready. Very least, we know where it is now. Come on, where's that sweet, sweet? There it is. Torpedo in. Come right to two six six helm. I'm changing depth to five hundred. Make depth five. So I can start speeding up. Alright, torpedo is hunting. And it's running straight, it's acquired something. Alright, so that's a start. We have picked up a target. Now we're going to use the third person camera here to cheat a little bit because we, we're too far out at this difficulty level to be able to see anything that's actually happening over here at the moment. So all we can see is the third person view of our, uh, of our torpedo, which if I change views, we lose, and what it's doing. So running straight like that, it has acquired a target. So we are on target. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra 2, last bearing 2. And there five, goes the Ming. Four. Contact breaking up. There we go, that is the first successful use of one of those torpedoes. Alright, so Ming sunk, 17 use set 80s left on board, we've still got four anti-shipping missiles, no more of the SSN-16s, these are our rocket propelled torps. Really probably need to start carrying a few more of those, although they are really situational. But that that was that was good once we got the target on. That was I, I like that. Maybe an extra one and one less moss? I don't know, I'll have to think about that. Change my loadout a little. Mission update. Excellent performance locating and eliminating the enemy submarines, transporting Chinese commandos. New orders coming on this downlink soon. So that was the target. So we just, just managed to save the Spratly Islands. 600 feet under, the Pentagon Day revealed that several Chinese submarines attempted incursion near the Spratly Islands, South China Sea, and were either destroyed or driven off by coordinated efforts of US surface vessels and submarines and aircraft. Is Russian... Russian comrade. Alright, so, tactical situation. A wolf pack of enemy submarines has been operating in the area, about 200 miles southwest of Tokyo, Japan, where they have been terrorizing coastal shipping lanes as part of Beijing's strategy to starve Japan into reneging their support of the United States in this conflict. You must therefore transit to the North Pacific and conduct an ASW sweep of the area and avoid any civilian casualties. Okay, so this isn't the last mission, because no ballistic missile submarine. But that's on the other side of the map, so we get a little bit of travel ahead of us. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Houston, we may have a problem. 
Alright, so we are in the Pacific Ocean, we're just south of Japan, trying to make our way up to Tokyo to see if we can hunt down these attack submarines, and we just got jumped by a group of submarines. I am not 100% sure on where they are. We did have a potential contact at 130-ish. So that should be on side, so we should Come be right fine two, there. Zero, six, five, Conditions. L I 97 decibels, we have a thermal layer at around 175 feet. It's only a weak duct. So it's not a major concern, 97. Now we got caught moving at flank speed, trying to make our way up to Tokyo to hunt down this group. So I have no idea if this is our target objective or not. But uh, on, this is a this Steady is a course. blue water submarine group. This is well off the uh, the coast of China now. So uh, actually, we should probably conditions. What are we in? Oh, it's only eighteen hundred feet here. I thought it would have been deeper. Current depth is six hundred. No contacts. It's a little shallow point up here. Alright, so nothing as yet. Alright, so we're going to prep up some torpedoes here in case we need to panic fire. I'm going to have them all active. We've got a little bit of noise in the water and a lot of ocean here to actually hunt for targets. We've got nothing so far. Alright, so I'm going to bring this up. 175. Right, I'm going to bring this up to 150. Just to check Depth in the duct and see if there's anything feet, there. Then we might go up to the surface, pop the radar just to make sure we clear any surface targets. I don't expect we're going to find much of anything down this, this section of the world. We really are in the middle of nowhere. Um, I was actually surprised we were jumped here at all. I was surprised there was anything this far out. So yeah, we'll check the surface just to make sure there's nothing there. And then we're going to have to find out where the hell these guys are. So we might have to go active. Alright, so we've checked in the duct. We're about to hit periscope depth. We can't hear anything in the duct either, so there's there's just nothing. There's nothing. Whatever's here is not making any noise, which doesn't surprise me. It knows we're here. We were at 20 knots when we got jumped, so they know we're here. We were making noise. They weren't. They've gone silent. They're probably hunting us. They're not pinging actively. Con, dive at 3, 8 feet, dive by. Alright, so we're just going to go straight Raise for radar, radar just to clear any surface contacts that we could potentially run into. And nothing. Okay. Lower the radar mast. Mast down. Go 400. Make depth 400 zero, zero feet, dive by. So I want to get us back to 400 feet, so we're at a fairly good depth both ways to manoeuvre in case we have to, and we're going to have to go uh, jump on the actives if we're going to find anything here. Alright, passing 200 feet. Now... Alright, torpedoes ready to rock and roll. So, I'll go active at 300 as we're descending. Ah, screw it, let's go active now. Sonar, switching to active search. Alright, give me a return. What do we got? Con sonar, new contact bearing. New contact. One, three, nine, designated Sierra, one. Step 330. Shoot 2-1. Aye, sir. Torpedo away. Alright, 141. So that's about where the Telltale said that we had a contact. Uh, estimated range 6-4. 
which it can't be that close because that close it would have heard that uh, launch transient unless we're in its baffles and it's not pinging us back at all and we've got no signal on this whatsoever Yeah, um... Con, sonar, lost contact. Sierra, one. Yeah, I have one, no four, idea. Three, contact faded. Yeah, the only line we had solid is the one down here near on the zero line, which Con, is the same for all submarines. It was the only line that was clear. So I have no idea what the hell that was. Alright, so I'm going to get this torpedo into position over here before I turn it in to start going active on Sierra 1. When I start going active on this torpedo, I'm going to also go active on the, the active sonar on the Victor 3 again as well. And see if I can just get a clear position on where this guy is. So, we are going to... No, I'll change the angle a little bit here, but not too much. I just want to make sure no torpedoes are going back towards the Victor 3. Groups this far out tend to have at least two submarines. We've got to return on one. I'd be thinking there's at least two. That's part of the reason why I want to go active on the uh, on the sonar again, to see if we can locate the second one. Alright. Game time. Let's see what we can see. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Alright, we got it acquired. Target. It's further over. We've got two. Yep, we've got two. Con, fire control, we've Shit. lost the wire. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. Shoot two four. Aye, sir. Turn this one Con down sonar, across. Noise maker, bearing one, three, two. All right, so we have uh, a, a submarine sonar, here, regained contact and we've got a second one. Sierra, this is Sierra one, two. Bearing, one, six, zero. This is a Sierra two, not Sierra one. Torpedo one has found a second submarine. Con fire control weapon acquired. All right. Con sonar switching to active. Going active. Search. See if we can pick it up. Uh, get a sonar new contact bearing. One, oh three, shit! It's a three, kilo. Designated Sierra two. Con fire control weapon countermeasure homing. We have a kilo. That is. Con sonar Sierra two is cavitating. Yeah, and that's confirmed. It is Sierra two. So there is still another submarine around here that we can't Con, see. Fire control weapon acquired. Interesting. Well, well, that'll explain, one, why we couldn't see it easily, but, uh... Diesel electric boat out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean is an odd choice. Con sonar All right. contact. Sierra, two. Last bearing, one, three, five. Contact breaking up. Well, that's one Con of them taken care of. Sierra one is classified as submerged. Second submarine. target is also a kilo. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one last bearing Going one active again. six four contact faded. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra one bearing one six four. All right, Con so sonar lost contact. Got a fairly Sierra, good idea one, where that kilo one is. One, Six, four. Contact Actually, the faded. the broke wire torpedo still has a reasonably good shot of getting this one too. We may have uh, not needed the extra torpedo. Con 
sonar, switching to active search. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra 1, bearing 1, 6, 4. Con sonar, launch transient from Sierra 1. Yep. Expected. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra 1, last bearing 1, 6, 4. Contact faded. So two torpedoes in. I mean, expect that, that torpedo is returned Con to us. Sonar. They're Switching pinging active leaks, or so are we. They know where we are. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra One, bearing one right, six here. four. Con torpedo room two point ready. It'll start popping countermeasures though soon because the torpedo here should go active around about at this point. Part of the reason I want this torpedo to go further down because I want it to herd Sierra 1 into the other torpedo if it doesn't run into it automatically. There it is, there's our torpedo, it's gone active. Con sonar, switching the passive search. Right, so that's the torpedo from Sierra 2. Sierra 1 fired one, and I'm likely that's going to come straight up the line to us. So we need to deal with this quick, uh, quickly. So we can. Uh, do a rather big depth change and get the hell out of here. So what are we on? Just dropped to 78, but it's alright, we know exactly the location it's in now. Right, let's get this Torpedo 4 active and heading in on target. Con sonar, noisemaker bearing one, yeah. six, four. The broke wire torpedo is getting close enough and starting to threaten the kilo. Alright. So if the kilo tries to run left, it's going to run into four. And our loose torpedo Sonar, has acquired. Bearing, one, six, four. What is our distance to target? It's only nine kilo yards, so their torpedo is coming in on us right now. Turning it in. Make depth Going one, to 1200 zero, feet. Zero feet dive by. Come right on, sonar. Torpedo in the water. Yep. Torpedo in the water. Bearing. One, three, zero. Unfortunately, that be the way it is. Con fire control. We've lost. Wires wire. lost. Alright, that makes things easier. Go and flank. Meet con sonar. We are cavitating. Con sonar. No longer cavitating. Come right to. Line up down the three, torpedo. Three, helm I. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, and one, six, three. Counter measure deployed. Passing 700 feet. Con, fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. Now. Con, knuckle formed. Torpedo lost. Leveling out, running through the torpedo. Now hopefully when it comes back around it'll pick up Con, that countermeasure. Room, tube four ready. And that'll throw it off again. Yep, looks like it's picked up the countermeasure. That's not gonna last long because it will sonar, make a turn back. Bearing. One, six, three. Kilo is still occupied, and as it makes its turn back, it is going to pick us up again, and speed change will not make a difference on that. So we will have a torpedo on us in just a few moments, but we're going to have at least a bit of a window to run. There we go, torpedo has reacquired. Second torpedo. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. So, we're going to turn towards it. I don't know if we're going to be able to get past this one. Turns four, three, Z. 
zero. My hope is we can get underneath it before it goes active, and we'll still only have to worry about the one. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, one, six, four. Still closing in on us. It's a second torpedo coming in. Con sonar, lost contact, Sierra, one. Last con, knuckle formed. And knuckle formed, throw off the torpedo on our six to buy us some time, and please, please, oh please, get underneath this one before it goes active. Hoping it goes active just past us. Because then we're fine. Oh, this is cutting close. If this goes active right here, this could be a real con uncomfortable. Sonar, lost contact. Sierra, one. Last bearing, one. Six, five. Contact con, knuckle formed. Another knuckle. Throwing the torpedo again. And we're good. Alright, only one torpedo to worry about. And it looks like we got the kilo. So the second kilo has been dealt with. Oh, torpedo is... That one was sneaky. That one actually started trying to get up next to us. Passing 700 feet. Countermeasure dropped. Passing 600 feet. Passing 500 feet. I don't know whether this will be enough. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Passing 300 feet. Passing two. Bring ship for ultra quiet. Oh. Passing 100 feet. Will it reacquire? No, 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 no. Stay up here. Alright. So, providing we keep this in a tight turn, that depth, that quick change in depth should have been enough that that torpedo won't actually hear us anymore and we've just managed to dodge them all. Alright. Here's the wrist. Does it pick us back up? Nope, no contact. No contact. Torpedo has lost contact with us. It is confused and circling. So now we've just got to wait. Make turns for zero. Make turns for five. Right, nine. So I'm going to actually Maneuver bring it nine. and park us smack bang in the middle of the circle here. That's going to be the plan. Continue the turn through. I'm going to run straight, park in the middle of the torpedo, and we're just going to shut down the engines and sit. Alright, so that was a little more interesting. Two kilos. Those things are not to be screwed with. They are really good boats, even though they're diesel electric. A bit odd to see them all the way out here in the middle of the Pacific, but... Um... Yeah, generally kilos will operate closer to the coast, but I suppose in the case of China it comes down to what good boats do they have, and while the Chinese do have a couple of nuclear boats, uh, we've already run into them and they're, they're not great. The kilo is actually probably superior in most areas in terms of an attack submarine, and it's incredibly stealthy. Uh, kilos were, for a little period of time at least, the single quietest submarine in the world, and they were nasty to try and pick up it's why yeah don't don't disregard diesel electrics there's a reason why countries around the world build them and it's not just because they're cheaper than nuclears they are they're not ideal for blue water work and they're not ideal for range because obviously diesel electric refueling is an issue where it doesn't where nuclear don't have that issue but diesel electric submarines can be built smaller more compact carry the same type of weapon systems and the same same type of sensor systems as a full nuclear submarine and they do not have an active nuclear reactor that requires constant cooling constant pump noise and constant activity inside of them when a diesel electric decides it wants to go quiet it can literally turn off everything inside of the boat and just sit there and make no noise whatsoever you can't do that with a nuclear because in the end it doesn't matter how quiet you build them, even something like the Seawolf, you can't turn off the reactor. Well, you can, but turning off the cooling pumps to a nuclear reactor is generally not a great idea. It's, it's not at the top, of, uh, uh, the top of anybody's list on things that you should possibly do. Just ask Russia. All right.
Right, so, we just got pinged, and I didn't catch from where, so there is a third submarine here, ladies and gentlemen. Con sonar, switching to active search. Let's see if we can find it. Con, dive at three, zero, zero feet, dive by. Come on, where are you? Sonar. We got a return. Search. There is something down in between where the kilo, or oh, well, the two kilos were, Sierra One and Sierra Two. Shoot two one. Shoot Aye, one away. Yeah, that ping came from a line down around this area. Con sonar. Another return. Switching to active search. Con sonar. Switching to passive search. Why the hell wouldn't the third submarine, maybe a third kilo, that's why we can't see it? But why would it not have got involved while we are fighting? This is weird. But there is definitely something else out here. Con sonar, switching to active search. Nothing. Now it doesn't want to talk back to us at all. Nothing. No torpedo launches, no transients, or at least none that I can hear. It's worth keeping in mind. There was an extra torpedo up there that I didn't hear get launched. There it is, straight down this line. Yep. Con sonar, switching the passive search. There is something here, but it's far enough out that we can't. We're not getting... We're only getting that when it's pinging us. It can hear our active sonar. We can hear its active sonar, but where... Well, I'm not getting a return on it. I'm assuming it's also not getting a return on me. So we're far enough or far apart from one another that we can't get an active return, but close enough that we can clearly hear and get a direction on each other's active. So, at this difficulty, at least 15 kiloyards, roughly. I mean, it could be closer, but more than likely, probably out here, which might actually explain why we didn't see it get involved. It could never see us and what we were doing over here in the first place. And ever, all the weapons that were heading towards it got picked up by Sierra 1 and Sierra 2, so they acted essentially as a screen. So, I'm going to change the angle on the torpedo again. I'm going to do a very gentle 5 degree turn to starboard. I'm going to start pointing us south, so we're heading in a different direction than the uh, direction the shit show is about to occur in. 13 minutes on the torpedo, so hopefully that will be enough. So I'm just going to let this run on until we get ready to turn in. I'm going to turn the torpedo active just as it goes past the kilo. I think that'll be a good area to cut in across and see whether or not we can stir something up right as we go active on the sonar again. Alright, so it's further to the south. There it is. Target's here. Con sonar, switching the passive search. Reaching turn to 15. I want to be going that way. Hopefully that shot was coming back this way. But it could have also just fired a torpedo straight up our active sonar. Both would be smart moves, and I've seen the AI pull off both. So this isn't it a guaranteed return shot against us? Just like those shots before were coming towards Victor 3 rather than towards our torpedoes. If a hook shot didn't work, we'd given away our location, or at least the heading that we were at, if we didn't give away exact range. 
but uh, sometimes that's necessary. If you can't find the enemy, you can't kill the enemy, so... Yeah, torpedo was heading towards us. Alright, so that's a concern. We need to get... Con, fire control, weapon acquired. We have weapon acquired. Here yeah, we need to react against their torpedo. Make depth one, zero, five, zero feet, dive on. Go to 1200. Con, fire control, we've lost the wire. Wire's lost. Cut right. direction change, we know the location, we're going to go to 30 knots. We are cavitating. Yep, we are cavitating, but we're going to dive down and con, change position as quickly as we can. Get out. Bearing. One, seven, Torpedo here zero. will keep the, tor keep the submarine occupied. I have no idea what it is we're hunting. I'm going to assume at this point that it's a third kilo. That we're facing Con a wolf pack of three no kilos. The fact that this is three submarines, this might actually turn out to be our Con, primary target no. after all. This is not where I expected them to be, but this might be it. And if um, uh, people are probably going to ask in the comments section, keep going to 1200 feet. Yeah, 1200 feet is very close to test depth for this thing. It's, I wouldn't feel overly comfortable going much deeper. That's about as uh, about as far down as I'd be happy to go, and you know, it's deep. <laughs> it's it's deep. Con sonar, noise maker. But if I was one, near the six, surface eight. when the torpedo was fired, being at twelve hundred feet is likely going to uh, yeah. Let's just level it out there. Um, if the torpedo is going to go up, you go down. Basically, if the torpedo is down, you want to go up. Um, being at a different depth will help us avoid it, so uh, 30 knots, and I should actually proceed directly Come left south now, one, eight, if I can, one, it's Helm coming I. up this path, I assume it had a decent distance on me, so if I can get far enough south it'll activate past me and I'll be safe, same Gone, as the last Helm. torpedo that we Steady dove course. under, but uh, yeah, much deeper and much faster, or at least that's the plan. And I'll worry about uh, finding out exactly what happened down here. Although it looks like our torpedo is fairly messed up at the moment. Got three countermeasures blinking away there. So whatever it is, is uh, it's in panic mode, which is good. All right, there's the torpedo. Can we get past you? As soon as we get past it, I'm going to go silent again and I'm going to start trying to work out where it is and see what's happening. Torpedo's gone active. Oh, we didn't get past it. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing pick us one, up. six, five. Oh, not yet. The depth change seems to have been enough. The question is, can I get far enough away that it won't pick us up on the return? Oh, this was the right move. I think we're good. I think we are good. Yeah, the return now, yeah, when it swings back, we're, we're past it. Cool. So, yeah, there's our threat. So we're going to continue proceeding south, close the range and then go silent again and see whether or not we can actually pick up what's going on. There hasn't been an explosion that I've heard. So I assume both the weapon and the hostile submarine are both still active. Alright, so we've just done a big run of uh, gap closing here. And I didn't see it, but it looks like we did actually hit the target. 
We've got a kilo, kilo, and we have something else over here that has gone down. We didn't get uh, any details on it. It was a blind kill, but it looks like we may have gotten the target. Just going to go active. Con, sonar, new contact bearing. One, five, zero. Designated Sierra, three. One five zero Sierra three. Well, that sonar Sierra three is classified as submerged submarine. One five three would match what's there. And we're not getting any, I'm not getting any target pop up. So I'm assuming Con, sonar. that Switching must be the it. Passive search. I think that's it. I think we're done. All right. No identification on what the submarine is, but I'm sure the post mission results will actually tell us. So let's go find out. All right. So yes, enemy engaged. Two kilos and a song. So the song was the final submarine, and it looks like that is in fact what it was. 13 U set 80s remaining, still got 4 S10s, so we're going to need a minor resupply here, but uh, nothing major. We'll probably do that now, because we're actually not far from Okinawa in all of this, so we're going to have to pick it back up as we're heading back to China anyway. Let's see if this was our mission, though. I'm very pleased to see that you dealt with those submarines with determination and resolve, Commander. Remember that for every enemy vessel we take out, it means safer transit for our troops and transports. Good work. Stand by for additional orders. So that was, in fact, our target. All right. Well, anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching. Cold Waters will be returning to the channel again very soon, and until next time, remember to click that like button if you did, share and subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, take care.